Yo guys, what is up? Teachers Game 2 here, coming at you with a really unique video. If you've never seen these guys before, or tamed them, I have a little bit of a trick up my sleeve. This is the Dimetrodon. And what is the Dimetrodon good for, you might ask? Because they don't have a saddle, they can't do anything, they don't attack very well. Other than killing them in the wild and getting prime meat out of them, which is true, you can do that. And getting their sails because you can't collect a Dimetrod on sale. They don't really have a use to a lot of people. However, I am here to tell you that's wrong. These guys have one very special purpose, especially for low to medium sized tribes. Let me introduce you to something. So leveling melee damage in these guys. Now I apologize for the clicking right now because I'm gonna have to click my entire way through here. If you level their melee only, it increases something really unique about them. They have an insulation stat. Now this insulation stat, if you hit both of them up really high like I am right now, what it'll do for you? It allows you to raise eggs. Now a couple of these guys are what you need for some really high level eggs. However, it's not always required. So let me show you what I mean. Now rumor on the street is, uh, where'd that egg just go? I don't know where the egg just went. Oh well, that's interesting. Let me get another one real quick. I'll be right back. All right, so I've spawned in two more eggs right here. So we've got a wyvern egg, and we also have a fertilized argent egg. Just to show you, when I toss down this egg right here, because it is between these dimetrodons, these guys produce a buff that allows any egg to grow. If you can get above around 1,100 melee total, whether it's between one, two, or three, you should be able to raise wyvern eggs. Now, you can see this argentavis egg is raising... Not a problem, very simply. I don't think this is gonna work. We're gonna go ahead and give it a try. Now, unfortunately, it does not work. But that being said, you can see the point. If you get eggs, you only need a couple of these Dimetrodons. So if you're talking early to middle game at all, a couple of these guys will give you enough insulation to raise any egg. Now, I'm pretty sure the stat is in order to have a Wyvern egg, you have to have around 1,100 combined melee. Right now I've got 1,200. It's not a problem to raise a egg you see right here, fertilized RG egg. Let's go ahead and test a few of the other eggs. All right, so I've spawned in two more eggs. We've got that one raising right there. Let's go ahead and check out the Giga egg. So the Giga egg is between these two, which is a very difficult egg to raise, as you can see right now. It is raising just fine, which is absolutely amazing. Now one last one, because this is one of the... Oh, it won't let me do it. So Wyvern Eggs and Rock Eggs apparently won't let me spawn them in right now. But these have a combined total of around 1,300 melee. That's what you want to level to increase their actual abilities here. And look at this. A Giga Egg is raising no problem. Zero damage taken. And it's just raising. Which is amazing, because all you need, especially early game when you're not able to have air conditioners or it's hard to pump them out, Grab yourself a couple of Dimetrodons or somewhere you can't have air conditioners or something like that. Or even on Scorched Earth where sometimes the power gets cut off. Two Dimetrodons with around 600 melee will level any egg and raise any egg for you. Just a fun little fact for you. So even though a lot of people think these Dimetrodons are useless, they actually do have a pretty good value. And that's with eggs, my friends. Alright, well anyways, hopefully this helps you out. And uh, other than that, kind of a fun little video, Teacher's Game 2.